Hello everybody, my name is Austin, welcome back to another review. I am joined with my great partner, Noah. Howdy. Alrighty, and today we are going to review Bill and Ted 3, Face the Music. Um, right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and read the synopsis real quick. A visitor from the future tells best friends, Bill and Ted, that one of their songs can save life as we know it and bring harmony to the universe. So you might recognize that storyline immediately. Yeah. Because it's Bill and Ted 1. And, and 2. And, yeah. And <laughs> well, let me tell you something. If you enjoy Bill and Ted 1, this is a very similar movie yeah. to the first two. It's just... I don't... It's Modernized, I'd say. Yeah, it's modernized. There's a lot of welcome additions. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's a sequel. It's what yeah, you expect sure. from a sequel. Yeah. Um, for sure. Now, now this movie was directed by uh, Dean Part Parasit Parasit Parasit. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Um, and it stars Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter as Bill and Ted, obviously. And uh, you have two amazing actresses who play their daughter, Samara we Weaving, who plays Theodora, or you know, Ke uh, Alec uh, <laughs> Bill's daughter. Excuse me. And you have Bridget Lundy Payne, who plays Billy who is Keanu's daughter in the movie. Yes, and they are phenomenal. It's yeah. literally just a new Bill and Ted. For, for That's sure. who they are. Yeah, because like, their nicknames in the, sh in the movie are... Billy Bill and, and Thea. Yeah. yeah, it's Billy and Thea. But even then, it's still just like, they're Bill and Ted. Bill and yeah. Ted. You know, like... like th <laughs> they're still B and T. Yeah, B and T. They, they have the same mannerisms. They talk the same. Yeah. They have the same music taste. Like. Yeah, they're both incredibly goofy. God, um, they're great. They're, they're like real some parts of the movie. They're better than Bill and Ted themselves. Yeah, they're real show uh, scene stealers. Like without a doubt, there are like so many scenes where it's just like, yeah, Bill and Ted doing their thing, and then you see in the background just like them two goofing off or whatever, and it's just like, fuck yeah, like, like, like they're. It was pretty obvious they're trying to. I mean, not trying to do this because, to be honest, I don't think there should be a sequel like whatsoever. I mean, this movie alone is pretty good to end the Bill and Ted thing because they you know I'm not going to spoil the movie but you know there would make no room to be a Bill and Ted 4 unless they did remake it but even then I don't see them doing it because there's too much love behind this movie to be like we're going to remake it you it know? is a passion project a hundred percent now real quick I am going to read the uh, the Rotten Tomatoes score for I haven't seen the Rotten Tomatoes score yet so yeah, I'm kind of no. excited to hear what critics are saying about this so Rotten Tomatoes we'll do IMDB gives them a 6.6 .6 out of 10 which it's not terrible um then uh Common Sense Media gives it a 4 out of 5 and then Rotten Tomatoes doo -doo 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 -doo, gives it a 79% which is technically certified fresh yeah that the Rotten Tomatoes score is really fair. I'll tell you now, it's way higher than New Mutants, and I thought that was bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, New Mutants was a phenomenal movie. Yeah. People were just ripping on it. And then 72% um, of Google viewers, including ourselves, like this movie. Um, so that'll be... Let me go ahead and swipe that away. Um, I mean, I mean, what were your thoughts of the movie, just in general, without uh, spoiling anything? I mean, I thought it was great. You know, it's the same general storyline mm -hmm. there's a lot of new stuff of course time travels back of yeah. course um there's a lot of returning characters oh, and yeah. a lot of the new ones are actually surprisingly just as good as returning characters um yeah it's it's what i was hoping for exactly hey, in like, bill yeah. and ted 3 mm -hmm. that's about <laughs> that's about all i have to say it's just you know i thought it was great i thought it fits right into the storyline of the original two yeah uh for me i have only seen part one i never saw part two uh because when we we're at the movies we had no idea that we were gonna uh see it and so out of the blue and then so you know noah's family invited us oh fuck it we'll go fucking see it um because i was planning on watching part two before i saw part three but really you don't even need to see the first two it's still funny it on its own has a full description before it opens up into the movie there's a slight you know it explains i forget their band's name uh oh, wild stallion it explains that the wild stallions you know they went to make a song that would unite the earth and yeah, save the universe they thought they did that in part two and but... then it goes 
further on to explain, you know, that that wasn't the song and their band started to flop yeah their fucking band split up you know death left and all that and it was, it was just it was just really funny it was just, um but no um for me like I, like I said I never saw part one or two or I, I never saw part two I saw part one and even then I saw part one like two or three years ago and even this I still thought it was really funny and like just charming like there's so much about it that I just loved and that it's just such a positive movie. Oh, yeah. There's this this overlying message of, you know, just general unity and helping each other towards a common goal. And yeah. It's beautiful. Like, to be honest, the message of the movie is just... I mean, to be honest, this is cliche as fuck, but just be excellent to each other and just, like, <laughs> like love each other, man. Like, we don't need all this negativity. Because the movie takes place in 2020, which I think is important to kind of point out, like... Of course, there's no coronavirus in this or whatever. Um, but um, it's just such a good movie about, like, just uniting each other and, like, being friends again. And it's just, like, it's just such a positive movie all the way through. It is a feel-good, silly, goofy romp. There's some slight negatives, mostly with the CGI. Um, yeah. There's a lot of CGI effects. But, yeah. in my own opinion... The movie is goofy enough that I don't. I, for some reason, I feel like it almost fits. Yeah. Because like, even with the first one, it wasn't that bad. But um, it was entirely justified though to have CGI in the movie, especially the fact that they filmed it while everyone else was on quarantine. Yeah. You know. Because it was like the first movie to film during quarantine. Like it was like this huge thing, and it was like, damn. <laughs> and of course, you get. Adult Keanu Reeves. Oh yeah, and reprising Alex his role. Like, yeah, and they're it's they act the same. They still got it. Uh, for me, I, th- I thought Alex Winter uh, really got into it kind of more a little bit. Um, of course, like Keanu, cause he's been so long since he's done something goofy. I think Alex Winter kind of like just always has that vibe to him. Whereas Keanu, after seeing you know John Wick and all that. It's like, oh, it's weird to see Keanu in such a goofy movie, you know? Like, I know he's in Toy Story 4, but, like, still, it's like, oh, damn. But it did make me want to buy Cyberpunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's almost weird to see him, physically see him, not just hear him being silly again. Yeah. But it is welcomed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's like, for me, it just took about, like, maybe five, ten minutes to get into it. It's like, all right, yeah, he's, you know, Bill, and then you got Ted, you know, it's like, both of them are awesome, you know. It just took a, a little bit for me to get back into it. But overall, I really liked it. I, I thought it was funny. Um, I thought it was hilarious. It was <laughs> amazing. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there were a few, like, like I said, like, the CGI was really, like, oh, could have been better. But it does lend into the charm and all that. It really gives it some, like... It just gives it that Bill and Ted vibe, you know? And let me tell you, all of the practical effects and the suit designs, especially for when they go back to the future, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it is... It's really well designed. Yeah, I mean, all the costumes are, like, they're, they're fucking great. There is one character... You see him in the trailer, but I'm not really going to talk about it because you don't really see them in the trailer. There is one character that comes from the future, and they are amazing. It's all practical effects, and they're honestly one of the better comic relief characters. Um, in it. All I can say is it's like, uh, I don't, I don't want to say anything too spoilery, mm. but there is a Terminator subplot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. There is a Terminator subplot, and they have some of the best lines in the movie, for sure. Yeah, it is one of the funniest characters. Yeah. Without, <laughs> without a doubt. Um, and of course, like Noah said earlier, we get reoccurring characters such as Death. And who was the guy who invented the Great Ones in the first movie? Uh, I don't remember his name, but yeah. he comes back for not very long. Because well, I think his actor passed away. I think yeah. That's why. Because uh, they have a hologram of him talking, basically. Yeah. His wife now runs the future. She's the head of the Great Ones. Um, his daughter is an important character in the movie. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm looking by the name right now just so I can have it, because it's stuck in my head. Uh, I know you can find it. Rufus, Rufus. Yes. So, Rufus does make a short hologram cameo. Yeah. 
Um, because I believe Whitney passed. Yeah, yeah, he passed away in two thousand eight. So sadly, he couldn't be in it. But there is a can like he said, there's a cameo of him, which I thought was very interesting. I was like, oh, because I was looking at that. I was like, is that him? And I think it's old footage that they used. Yeah, I am fairly certain they took footage from Bill and Ted two, and used it because it's only it's a good it's only like thirty seconds. You get to see a little hologram. Yeah, but. It's still really cool to see him in the movie. It, it is. It's super nice. And just, oh, man, this movie just, like, the whole point of the movie is to spread positive vibes and to get positive messages. And to be honest, I really think it is an important movie we need right now with everything going on. Protests, quarantine, you know, all these things, you know, everything. I think it is just a really important movie we need right now that spreads positivity. And it's just like, hey, you know, like, to be honest, you know, the best words I could put it, be excellent to each other, just, you know, love each other, you know, like, we shouldn't have all this hate. And this movie is very positive. It's a very oh, positive yeah. movie. It's, oh my god, even the darker, like, scenes that would normally be darker even in comedy movies yeah, it's <laughs> are hilarious. They're just goofy, and yeah. they're uplifting in a way. I mean, they, they just do it in such a well, oh man, it's, it's such a good movie, guys, and Honestly, on, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, where would you rate it? Uh, I'd have to put it at either an 8 or a 9. I'm, I'm like 8.5 to a yeah. 9. It's It made me really <laughs> happy. <laughs> I think 8.5 for me is a good number. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and go with 8. 8, I think, is a, is, is a good number for it. Um, just because it's just such a positive movie. Yeah, I have a little bit of issues with it. Because like, there were some uh, just jokes that didn't land with me personally but i think it's because yeah. i'm more of a wayne's world guy i still love to bill and ted i still love bill and ted but i'm kind of more of a wayne's world guy so a few of these jokes are kind of like okay you yeah know. but that's just me there's definitely there's definitely a few problems with it as a movie yeah. of course if you haven't seen bill and ted one it's not gonna most of the jokes aren't gonna hit as hard yeah. you might not laugh as hard at their like stupid mm -hmm. little like I don't know how 90s surfer like yeah like dude. trying to be sophisticated but also still dead. Yeah, dead. <laughs> like, um but no yeah 8.5 maybe an 8 is what I you know give it this movie is made for the fans of Bill and Ted 1 and 2 um but like but ultimately I'd say go out like if you're just having a bad day and you no, have yeah. enough money for a movie ticket and you know there's if COVID is going down in your area and you can yeah. go see it, I would highly recommend it. It is something to make you happy. Yeah, for sure. It's like, it's like they have so many things there for the fans, but they also bring something new that, you know, like obviously with their daughters, you know, that bring, it's, it's really refreshing and it's really like neat. And I was actually surprised because I thought they were going to be stereotypical daughters where it's like, where it's like, oh, dad, we don't like this music. We like this music and play like yeah. Skrillex or something. I thought it was going to be like that. But in reality, they're just, they're, they're little Bill and Ted's. That's all they are. They are the exact same. And it's, um, oh, man, it's such a good movie. Even their wives. Their wives, you know, the, the ancient English princesses. Oh, yeah. They're back and they have their own subplot like throughout the movie and yeah. it's beautifully well presented a beautiful payoff right right at the end mm. just the whole payoff like everyone's subplot gets tied together yeah. and comes together at the end all to make this just fantastic ending yeah there was never a point where i was like oh you kind of left this kind of out in the air it was always like like it was written well it you know like you know no things on no stone unturned like everything was just perfect it was just a great great movie and i know we're talking about this amazing pg-13 movie while doom is going on right now but doesn't matter <laughs> yeah, the gameplay is irrelevant it's something to look at while you hear us gush about how amazing this movie yeah is. about how, let me tell you William Preston and Theodore Logan are back. <laughs> Hell yeah. And it is just as good as ever. If you like Bill and Ted or if you just want to have some goofs, go see it, please. Yeah, because, like, to be honest, during the ending, I got a little misty-eyed, man. Like, I was like, oh, man, like, dude. Like, it, I just got so happy for them. And it was like, fuck yeah, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just got so excited. Um, um, I would love to see a spinoff movie with the... Uh, I'm not going to name him, of course, but with the Terminator-style character. Oh, yeah. I would love to see a spin-off movie with him and all of the future people. I, I think it would be cool if it was like a, if it was like a show on HBO Max or something. That was yeah. just like, like, like maybe 15-minute like things of him going back in time and like 
fixing certain things or doing this or even just a comedy show like an office not like a space horse style comedy with the great ones and like kind of like how that whole system works and all that get to know more of that um but yeah no that was our review for bill and ted 3 face the music let us know what you thought of this movie down below in the comments and if you haven't seen it yet go watch our new mutants review it's long as fuck but please go watch it remember to stay excellent and party on, dudes!